welcome to the chapter reading maps of different kinds this slide presents the overview of the chapter learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to Know the different symbols used in the maps. Identify the places on the maps based on the symbols. Define physical maps. Illustrate how heights on the land are measured. Describe how heights can be shown on a map. Explain contour lines. Interpret the uses of the maps showing heights. Define the mean sea level. Introduction Before entering into the chapter, follow the instructions shown on the screen. Click each tab to know more. We know. In the earlier class, we have learned how to read simple maps. The maps give details of climate, forests, heights, etc. of different places. The world we are living is full of variety as it has huge mountains, sea coasts, deserts, forests, snow-covered regions, etc. Did you see any one of these places? Can you guess the reason for variation in these places? Do you know how these variations affect the lives of people living in these places. Let us know. In order to know the answers, we need to study about the different types of the maps. In particular, let us learn how to show heights on a map. Let us start our learning with the topic symbols used in maps. Usually, we use symbols to represent the physical objects on a map. Some of the symbols are listed in the table shown on the screen. Hence, in order to represent all the physical objects on a map, a point, line or an area symbol is used. Now, let us do a simple activity with respect to symbols on a map. Answer the following questions by selecting the correct option. Now, let us learn about the physical maps in brief. Usually, we find some maps in atlas called the physical maps. Normally, in these physical maps, we can observe the different parts of land colored in green, yellow or brown. These colors denote the variety of landforms such as plains, mountains, plateaus, etc. and also show the heights of the place. In the physical map shown, we can observe that the various parts of the land is colored in green, yellow, brown and blue. The variations in color denote the heights. Now, let us perform an activity on match the following. Select suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in bracket provided against A. Let us now learn about measuring heights of the lands. 
Normally, all the heights on the land are measured from the sea level. All over the world, as all the seas are connected to one another, the sea level, that is the top surface, is taken as roughly the same. From the above picture, we can observe clearly that Kangura village is 50 meters above the sea level. Now, let us know about showing heights on a map. The image on the screen is the map of Kongara village. Can you observe three height zones in this image? Yes, the area from 0 meter to 50 meters, which is in green, represents the 50 meters height. Area from 51 meters to 100 meters pink represents the 100 meters height. Area from 101 meters to 150 meters. Brown represents the 150 meters height. Thus, the different heights are represented through different colors. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us now learn about contour lines. A contour is a line joining the places of same heights. In the picture on the screen, person A is at below sea level. Person B is at zero contour line, sea level, and person C is at 50 meters above the sea level. The shape of the contour lines is irregular as they depend upon the landform. Contour lines cannot cut one another. Based on the type of landscape, the distance between two contour lines is determined. When looked close together, the contour lines indicate a steep slope. When they are far from each other, the contour lines represent gentle slope. Now, let us know how maps showing heights are used. The maps showing heights help us in understanding the nature of the terrain, the location of the mountains and the valleys, etc. Contour lines show the height and the outline of the terrain. The map showing heights plays an important role when dams or roads are being constructed. Usually, in some places, the land will have ups and downs. In such cases, these maps help us to decide the route to take for laying the roads. Moreover, while planning the construction of dams, it is important to know how much land will get submerged by the dam water. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now, let us know what is meant by mean sea level. Water tides are of two types. They are low tide, high tide. We can observe these tides from the level of the sea and they never stand still. Due to this reason, the level of the sea keeps either raising or falling. Scientists were in a dilemma as to which of these heights must be considered as sea level or zero meter height. After a period of time, scientists clearly observed high and low levels of the sea at frequent intervals and arrived at a calculated average level known as mean sea level. Now, let us do a small drag and drop activity. Observe the below given objects and categorize them by dropping the respective object under the respective symbols, which are used to represent them in a map.
Usually, we use symbols to represent the physical objects on a map. In order to represent all the physical objects on a map, a point line or an area symbol is used. The capital of any state can be represented on a map through the use of point symbol. The rivers or streams can be represented on a map with the use of line symbol. Keywords List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. The world we live is full of variety such as huge mountains, sea coasts, deserts, forests and snow-covered regions. Physical maps show different types of landforms like plains, mountains, plateaus. Using drawing skills, we can represent the heights of a land on a flat paper. Usually heights of the land are calculated from the sea level. All over the world, sea level is taken as roughly the same as all the seas are connected to each other. A contour is a line joining the place of same heights. The contour lines will be in irregular shape based on the type of landforms. The contour lines look close to each other when the land has steep climb. The contour lines look far from each other when the land is gentle. High tides and low tides are two types of tides that we can observe from the level of the sea. Scientists clearly observed high and low level of sea at frequent intervals and arrived at one calculated average level known as mean sea level MSL. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow up work. Point out the rivers, railway tracks and famous temples in each state of India map and tick the state capitals. Observe the differences between the lifestyle of people living on high altitudes and low altitudes. Draw the contour lines of different objects like the one shown on screen. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter reading maps of different kinds.